is almost the day of the premiere. I can't believe it. <sighs> okay, girls, do you realize that this new movie ends this trilogy of love under the full moon? It's over! Yes! Never again will we have Reynold Peterson playing Victor. Goodbye, dear characters. Hmm? Oh, what a sad farewell. Oh, oh, oh Reynold. <laughs> love under the full moon. Marvelous. Three tickets ordered for next week. You guys ready to renew our pact? Yes! yes! We promise that we're gonna watch one more premiere together. With our hearts broken but all holding hands. And as proof of our friendship. And, and our, our eternal, eternal love for Reynolds. Full moon of love. Full moon of love. Did you already vote for me? Oh, oh, sweet girl from heaven, what's wrong? What do you mean, what's wrong? You don't know? I'm competing for the presidency of the official fan club for Aaron Melbourne. I'm in the middle of the campaign. I need your vote. Oh, uh, yeah, I did get your messages. All 38 that you sent. Hmm, 39. Hmm. So? So? What are you waiting for? Stay cool, Camille. I'm going to vote for you. When will you do it then? When? All right, Camille. Fine. Right now. Immediately. Okay? Aaron Melbourne fan club. All done. I voted. And the world appreciates it. Thank you. Fabulous place. Wow! Our letter this year will surpass all the others. Look at this! It's to compensate for all the ones we'll never write again, you know? Ladies, we don't have to stop being fans of Reynold just because the saga ended. Of course we don't. I love you, Reynold Peterson. Forever! Oh. Oh. I'm so in love with you, Clara. I'm so in love with you, Clara. <sighs> love you too. social networks. Let's start it like this. Look. Oh no, come on, it's too depressing. I prefer this. Look. This music needs to represent our love and admiration for the trilogy, Clara. Exactly, Giovanna. Your suggestion is more like a soundtrack for a funeral. And yours? It sounds like a stadium horn. Let's do this. No, this one. I sense a good idea coming. Stop pushing! Yes, one. No, stay, stay, stay huh? with me, if you please. <laughs> yes, yes, Commander Valen. <laughs> we already know the challenge this year is bigger. <laughs> yes, yes, Commander, Commander Valen. So we should think. Any old fan can make a song celebrating the saga "Love Under the Full Moon," especially now that it's coming to an end. Yes. yes. But we'll make our song sound very different because every note that we write will also carry a bit of our friendship. Just like you can see in these pictures here. You're so right. We started watching the saga when we were just 11. Each premiere made an impact in our lives in different ways. And that's why our song will be a double tribute to our friendship and to love under the full moon. And to Reynolds, of course, the best actor in the entire world. He's so handsome. Five things that Tell Reynolds me likes magazine. the most about any girl. When she walks with confidence. <gasps> like a goddess on high heels. Oh, easy. Ow, 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 oh, hi. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. Oh, my dear fans, what? Oh, oh. Huh. And the goddess falls off her heels. Don't forget Camille and Clara for the job Tuesday, okay? Yes, I found the choice marvelous. Of course. Camille will be in heaven. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. that is a basic oh, Camille star yes. power is great, yes. right? I adore the idea of using a new face as well. So please mm -hmm. hand this to me immediately. All right then. See you later. See ya. Jonathan, you can congratulate me. Because you are now looking at the brand new president of the official fan club of Aaron Melbourne! Woohoo! That's great, congratulations! It 
can't be. What's wrong, Jonathan? What's that face? Isn't this Aaron the worst enemy of Reynold Peterson? Yeah, I know. But what's wrong? Oh, no. What's wrong, Jonathan? I just closed your participation at the premiere party of Love Under the Full Moon. What do you mean? They asked me for two models to participate at the party and to photograph for a press release next to, to, Reynold. Oh, uh, no. Oh, yes. And now there's no backing out. We are going to rock. Oh, our music has to come out very beautiful. There's a big chance of it being our best. I promise I will do the best of my words. So is everyone all set for our next meeting? Yes. Uh, bye, my friend. Bye, Clara. Hi, Jonathan. How are you? Hi, darling. Everything's great. I have some news. Hooray! Tell me more. Don't schedule anything for next Tuesday. You and Camille were chosen to participate at the premiere party of Love Under the Full Moon. You're going to see the movie before anyone else. Isn't that wonderful? Uh, what do you mean? A party? Love Under the Full Moon? Yes, yes, that's right. Can I count on you? Clara? Clara? Are you still there? Hello? Oh, hi, I'm sorry. Well, that's, a uh, uh, so cool. Listen, do you think I can answer later? Of course, of course. Talk to mommy and then call me. Kisses, my dear. Kisses. So now what? Think hard, Camille, think hard. Ugh. I have to come up with a really good idea, and quickly. Huh? That's perfect. I just need to find a good disguise. Excellent. <sighs> Is there nothing more discreet? It's for a disguise. That's the only one left. <sighs> Everything's gonna be fine. <sighs> How much is it? It's 28. Hmm. Fine. That seems fair. Hold on. I think I know who you are. No, you don't. I do. No, you don't! Yes, I do. You're the new president of the fan club of Aaron Melbourne. Oh, no. no. Oh, what do I do? Huh? All of the press will cover the event. What do you mean next Tuesday? What about our meeting? We still have to finish writing our song. It's a once-in-a-lifetime uh. chance. It's unique, Clara. It can open lots of doors. And to top it off, you're gonna watch the movie by yourself? What about our pact, Clara? This is finally your chance to meet Reynold in person. That's, That's betrayal. betrayal! It's so marvelous! Ugh! Oh, terrible doubt. And here it says that the fourth thing that attracts Reynolds most in a girl is mystery. Yes, yes. Oh, I'll be right back. Hey, where are you going, girl? I'm pure mystery. I'm sorry to bother you, but I don't really think that's what Reynolds meant by mysterious. You silly creature. Huh? And now, is this better? Oh. I'm sorry, Jonathan. Uh, you didn't eat anything, uh, sweetheart. What's uh, wrong? I need to make the most difficult decision of all the most difficult decisions I've made in my whole entire life. Oh, wow. But what decision is that? Tell us, sweetie. Apparently, these are the lyrics that Claire has written for our song. I did not have any other choice but to leave. But now, with my heavy farewell tears, I will need to cry. Boah, boah, boah. Oh, wow. This does not sound like Clara. Maybe she was bitten by a depressed bat. And so that's it. I need to choose between keeping the pact of full moon with my best friends, or accept Jonathan's invitation to the premiere party of the new movie. Oh, help me. Hey, hey, let's slow down. From what I understood, it's not exactly a party. It's really work, isn't it? Yes, the distributor of the movie wants to hire two models for the premiere. 
So then, kiddo, of course your friends will understand. Your father is right. You think? Unbelievable. Ugh, are you really serious? You're gonna run us over like a, a tractor? Girls, please listen. I want so much for you to understand this. But, but how? how? By putting yourself in my place. Maybe just a little bit. But, but how? A pact is a pact, Clara. I'm very sorry, but I have to accept it. Hey, they're already preparing And the they cinema. said the entire cast is coming to the premiere party. This event is gonna rock. No! Oh, I just can't believe this. A fight on national TV? That's all I needed. Oh, why me? Nothing like some good exercise to lift our spirits <sighs> and forget our sorrows. Or a delicious cupcake. It's really mean not to bring one to your best friend. Um, mm, mm, bite? Let's mm. exercise, silly girl. Aha! Now we're talking. Top three. The brave girls are the best of all. Hey, that's me exactly, don't you think? What's that over there? What's what? Oh, what a scare. It's just a cockroach. Huh? Uh, a cockroach? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you're very brave. An absolute ninja. How am I supposed to stay with Reynolds when I'm the president of Aaron's fan club? Did you see the fight? I saw, I saw. What can I do? They hate each other. Huh? It's a fact. There's a proof for everyone to what, see. Jonathan, this will end up Hi. With circus. Camille, Camille, listen to me. I'm certain that you will figure this out. I will do it. Little Jonathan here trusts you. See you at the premiere, all right? You'll do great. Bye. Bye. Oof, I'm tired. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. Let me explain everything. Mm -hmm. I'll come pick you up tomorrow. We'll go straight to the movies. Once there, we'll have an exclusive elegant dressing room for us. Woohoo! Then you and Camille will take photos, lots of photos. And then, when Radel arrives in a marvelous limousine, he'll join you two for more photos. Woohoo! Everything to turn out incredibly. Can I count on you? Yes! <laughs> you have to stir it gently so it won't spill over. Do you agree, Marcia? I completely agree with Reynold. Knowing how to cook is adorable. <laughs> it's the second most important thing he admires in a girl. Not that it helps me. My strong point is boiling an egg. Well, it's a beginning. Just stay cool. Now that the Master Chef is in your life, things will start to change. <sighs> I sure hope so. And one of the secrets for the dough to stay soft is to know the right time to put in the baking soda. Not too soon, nor too late. Right now? Of course now. Ah. <laughs> Marcia! <laughs> right here. <laughs> Did I overdo it? It could have been worse. Oh no! S sorry, Reynold. I admire a girl who knows how to get cook out, well. Reynold! Get out, Reynold! Oh, get out, this Reynold, is much worse than I imagined. Get out, Reynold! Get out, Reynold! Get out, Reynold! Get out, Reynold, get out, Reynold, get out, Reynold. Go away. Hey, hey, where's Camille? I don't know. Our president should have been here already. Oh no! These lunatics really showed up. so that no one will recognize me. Here, Camille. Goodness, girl, watch yourself on those heels. It's really turning into a great disaster, this song. It's the truth. We're missing something like inspiration, right? Oh, yeah. No, oh, who are we trying to kid? We're not lacking inspiration. We need our best friend, Clara. No, we don't. No? Are you sure? Take a look at these words. Yeah, you're right. These words are horrible. Ah, oh, Clara's better at these things. She was really very lucky. Lucky? Yeah, at this time she must be face to face 
pleased with Reynold. Oh, I'm jealous. Oh. 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 And you're Clara, right? No, of course I'm not. What do you mean now? Oh, I'm so glad you've already met each other. Oh, you guys are ready for a picture? Ever Where leave us alone? Go away! Go away! Go! Hey, Jonathan! Where did you go? Help, you go? Help me out! Here just to see uh, you. Uh, what are you still doing out here? Go on over there and take some pictures. Soon the movie will start. Shh! Oh, come on! Don't go shouting my name. We are deep in enemy territory. Camille, I just have one single word for you to think about. Professionalism. Oh, I'm in big trouble. Reynold, I brought something to give to you. Is that cool? Of course. Oh, wow, this is cool. The letter is gigantic. The largest I've ever received in my life. Thank you so much. Oh, it's about time, President. I thought you were coming anymore. Shh. Let's worry about what matters. Give me that. Uh, hmm. Oh, wow, this is very beautiful. You put a lot of work into it, huh? I appreciate it. To be honest, I did this with two friends, Giovanna and Valentina. Those two girls are my best friends. In order to fulfill my work commitment, I had to break a promise that we made together as friends. I made a commitment to Giovanna and Valentina, but I couldn't just say no to my job. We can't always have the things that we want when we want them. It was the most difficult decision of all the most difficult decisions in the whole entire world. But everything will be fine, because those two are my best friends, and they will understand. Hey, Clara, is everything mm, all right? Uh? Didn't your friends come? Mm, I'm sorry. No, no, my friends didn't come with me. They weren't really invited to join me, and I'm only here for a job. Uh, I meant to say, well, I'm really enjoying it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. This is a job for me, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm, I think I have a good idea here. Get, Get out, Reynolds! Get I'll be right back. Get out, Reynolds! Go, come here. The wig makes the costume. Camille has to do it all. Get out, Reynold! Get out, Reynold! Get out! Even be an actress. Get out, Reynold! Get out, Reynold! Get out! Camille is a traitor! You see that, people? It's Camille! She's a real traitor! I'll be right back. I guess I'll never find out what Reynold admires the most in a girl. Look at the state of my magazine. It doesn't matter. Hey, I've got two <gasps> tickets here. Uh, Let's call your friends. Oh, wow. Oh, yes, please. Hello? Hey, come to the party now. Huh? Pass me to Valen. Huh? You've huh? both been invited by Reynold. Come! Ah! Baby, would you take a selfie with me? Of course. Can I ask you one little question? Of course. What is it that you really like the most in a girl? Number one? Uh-huh. When she's completely herself. Thank you, my friend. Clara, we both understood that you had to accept this for your job. We're friends. Get a ring ball! Oh, you guys are here. Let's go. The movie is about to start. Now, where has Camille gone? Hi, Reynolds. Would you mind taking a few seconds to talk with me, please? Well, everybody knows that I never like to fight, right? And so the best thing that happened to me was to finally make peace with Aaron. So when Camille here 
who is president of his fan club, called me to talk, I understood that it made no sense to continue with that nonsense. Aw, that Camille knows exactly what she's doing. Oh, Larry! <laughs> Oh, no, it happened again. What did? It doesn't <gasps> work. Oh. oh, yeah, it isn't going to work. Too bad. It was looking so pretty. Sorry if I startled you. It's just my computer crashed again, and it's really old. It's dying a little every day. I'm sorry. I didn't catch that. No, nothing. My computer. Look, never mind. I just didn't mean to scare you. Oh, it's all right. But, Andre, I think it'd be a good idea for you to get a hobby. Something that can help you to... Uh, it's Clara. Uh, something that can help you be more... Hey, Clara, what on earth is all that noise? I'm trying to work here. More relaxed, no? Oh, come on! No, it's not here. Did you We're hear here. me, Clara? I need to finish this project for work. Ah. And all this racket's really distracting me, Clara. Clara? Sorry, Dad. I was just looking around for a book. And you need to turn your whole room upside down to do that? No, she hasn't turned it upside down. Clara's room has been like this for five days now. And I already told her I'm not going to fix it. Mom, I already said this is how I like to organize my room. If it's so organized, why can't you find your book? Baby, this is your responsibility. It's your bedroom and your belongings. That's right, Clara. Keeping your room clean is your responsibility. Do you see this here? This is so you remember to clean your room every single day. I'm tired of telling you. Ow! Dad, it's just a book. You're too stressed out. I think we need to get you something to help you to... relax a bit. Hey, look! I just found the book that I was looking for. <laughs> Stick love, now you can start cleaning up this mess. Now's a great time to show us the responsible and mature young lady that I know you really are. Fine, I'll do it. I'll clean it. I've missed you so much, little Rosetta. Fabulous space. My gosh, this is so exciting. A camp just for math. Wow. Don't make fun of it, G. It's important to me. And it's not just a camp for studying math. Wait, it's worse? <gasps> a camp for math and for physics? No, it's a camp exclusively for math geniuses. A place where all of the best math students from all the schools across the country are taken there. You know something? It's my dream. But there's a test, and they say it's supposed to be super hard. Ah, okay, but that should be a piece of cake for you, genius. Yeah, but after-school activities can also count towards earning points. Well, then you're in luck. Tomorrow, the school's gonna announce all the extra classes they're adding. I know. Do you think we'll have chess? Or a level 5 programming class? Or maybe a class about string theory? Ugh, none of those, Valen. It says here that the point is to diversify, doing things you normally don't do. Mm, we're gonna start you with playing some soccer. <laughs> Catch this! I can get it! <laughs> <laughs> I want to see if you're a good goalie. Uh, you and soccer don't go together, girl. I am done with this. I can't do it. I guess I just wasn't made for this. <laughs> you're right, Commander Valentina. Maybe poetry is more your style. Yeah? You think? That's awesome. I do it all the time, and I rhyme. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, this goes here. Organize, fold these clothes, you in the closet, this in the trash. Hmm, let's do this. It's beautiful, baby. Hmm, almost... What's that? I don't have a box to put these things away. Can I please have some money to buy a cute little box for them, Mom? Tomorrow I'll go to the store. Out of the way, out of the way! Ugh. Hey, watch it. You could have hurt somebody. Aw, oh, but I didn't hurt you, right? Aw, oh, relax, buddy. Get yourself a nice bike like this and your life will be a lot more relaxed. Huh? Hmm. <laughs> ah! Aw, oh, come on. What was that for? I scared you. I'm sorry. 
I just saw the cutest little thing of the cutest little things in the whole entire world. Me? Of course not. It's that adorable little dog. <laughs> Isn't he too cute? I want him. I want him for myself. I'm going to take him home. He's very cute. But your parents will never let you keep him, Clara. Oh, why wouldn't they? I'm going to ask them myself. Hmm, I don't know. Having a dog is a lot of work. You have to take really good care of it. That's all right, huh? I'm fully capable of taking good care of something. He's way too cute, baby. He looks like he's trying to talk to us. And he is. He's trying to tell you, take me home, please. Please take me home. Oh, baby, when you decide you want something, you... I'm not the only one who wants it. He wants it, and so do you. Just look at his face, Mama. Oh, <laughs> he's just too cute. <laughs> Clara, you forgot this in front of the pet shop. What's that, baby? The box that I bought to store the things in my room. The box that I gave you money to buy? You left it in the street? Um, uh, anyway, Clara, I gotta go. I'm late for something. Uh, anything, actually. Bye! Yeah, I just forgot it. I'm sorry. But back to Ozzy. What Ozzy? Him, the dog. Baby, we can't get a dog. Even Ozzy, no. But you just fell in love with him over this picture, Mom. Until Giovanna showed up with a box you forgot. And that reminded me that you aren't even responsible enough to take care of your own room or your things, much less a living dog. But please, Mom. And there's this one. Great. Banjo class, level three. And then this one. Creative writing and poetry. And all these other ones right here. Valentina, it's great that you're taking extra classes, but don't you think you may be overdoing it? Uh, learning is never overdoing it. Variety is great. Mm, I don't know. I think it's quite a lot to handle, even for a girl like you. What's up, Dad? Is that a present? Yep. Well, then I'll open it. No, sweetheart. This gift is for me. For me, from me. And what did you give to yourself? A bicycle. A bicycle you have to put together? Yeah, that's the beauty of it. Weren't you and your mother telling me a few days ago that I needed to find a nice hobby for relaxing? That's right. Riding a bike is a pretty good hobby. And so's building yourself a bicycle. This goes right here, and now yes, this like this, and I think it's done. Well, it looks like you really know what you're doing. <laughs> 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 or not. Well, I think you're going to take some time to figure this all out. I'll be in my room. If you need anything, call me. What is this, Mom? Is it a present? Yeah. Oh, let me open it, Mom. Go on, baby, open it. I can't it. believe it. I can't believe it. He's not even real. But he's still a pretty real-looking dog. You can take care of him through this phone app. I'll go ahead and put it on your phone. Mm-hmm. That's great. But you actually have to take care of him. If not, he'll die, baby. He'll die? But how? It's not even like he's a real dog. Ah, oh, I'm too late and I missed the surprise. What a shame. It's a test of your responsibility, baby. If everything goes well, your father and I may reconsider the idea of buying you a real living dog. That's right, but you have to take very good care of him. It's easy. You just have to follow the instructions on the app. But you have to take care of him all by yourself. We're not going to help you. Okay, that sounds really cool. Everything is written on your phone. You're going to have to walk him, make sure to feed him, and put him to bed. It's all right there. And I think you should start right now. Right now? I don't know what to do. Sweetheart, if you want a real dog, you need to know what to do with it. Hurry and go get your phone. Go ahead, sweetie. Uh, 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 go! Uh, oh, my gosh. Now to clean the court. <sighs> Balls in their places. Uh... And then she said that she only wanted to buy two types of ribbons after she had been loitering here for three hours looking through them. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, 
take this. <laughs> Okay, three hours, huh? Interesting. Tell me more about that. Does he bite? No, G. He's a robot dog. Robo dog. Ah! A robot dog that barks, walks, and eats. I bet he can even bite too. No, he's really sweet and easy to deal with. And he's also my fastest ticket to Ozzy. Hello, oh, Ozzy. The cute real dog that I'm gonna get after I take really good care of this robo dog. <laughs> well, it looks like the fake little doggy here is going a little crazy now. <gasps> I wonder what he wants. Uh-huh. It's bedtime. Wow, that was so fast. <laughs> That's awesome. So what do we do now? Wait until he wakes up. Well then, sometime later, I finally finished building a bicycle. Uh, that's awesome, Andre. You really did it. It took forever, but there was no stress. What are those pieces? Who knows? Spares? Extra pieces they sent, I'm sure. <laughs> that's great. I'm going to buy some ingredients for a new recipe I'm testing out. Be back soon. Uh, 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 what a shame. Get that one, Gully! Uh, uh, do it again, I can get it. Then uh, here! Uh, 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 go. One more. Isn't it better to stop? You're obviously exhausted, Valen. Mm hmm? No. I can get it. Yeah, Valen, you've taken on too much. You don't need to be doing so many things. Math geniuses still need to be alive and awake in order to get into the mathematics camp, don't they? Ah, uh, again? It's my robo-dog. He needs some love and attention to keep living. And I promised to help my teacher put up some new material on the blackboard. A couple? That's a lot of material. He wants more petting? Again? Oh, what a needy pet. Petting, petting, that's it. Hmm. Pee pee? Again? Oh. This robot is driving me crazy. I can't do it anymore. Uh, I'll help you. Walking dogs is one of the suggested activities that was listed for mathematical geniuses. Geez, I'm starting to think those geniuses are superheroes. What about the test, Valen? Did you already do it? Look, I'll pet him a little tomorrow, Valen can walk him, and we can do it together. Thank you, G. But let's keep this between us, okay? My parents keep insisting that I have to take care of this robo-dog by myself. Well, then we have to be careful. If they told you that, then... I don't know about this, Clara. They can get mad if they find out we're helping you. It'll be fine, guys. You guys are like my sisters. We're all family. They'll understand. Of course, G. I don't know what I would do without you guys. Come back here. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's done, all together, and with all of its pieces. <sighs> and now I have to deal with that stinking flat tire. I can figure this out. <sighs> there we go. <clears throat> huh. Oh, no! Math Geniuses Camp, admission test. Actually, this test looks pretty easy. Let's do it. I actually really like seeing my little Clara take such great care of this little cute doggy. Robo-dog! Robo-dog? 
Oh, you really should have picked out something a little cuter to call it, sweetie. Very soon, I think that we'll be able to have that conversation about getting you a real dog. <laughs> That's great, Mom. Hopefully we don't take too long so no one will buy Ozzy from the pet shop. Fine, I'll talk to your father. Now I need to go out for a second, but I'll be back very soon. Take it, then give him to G so he can get some petting. Thanks a lot, Balin. It's all good, Clara. You know that we're here to help you. Huh? What's going on? Oh, Clara, baby. What a disappointment. But why do you think it went bad? You've never done badly on a test. I don't know. I guess I wasn't paying enough attention and... So then you <gasps> called your friends to come and help you? <laughs> but, Dad, I thought it would be okay if they just helped out a little bit. But the rule was that you would do everything by yourself. Yeah, we were very clear. And now, you're not getting a real dog at all. No, just a few big dogs. Huh? You're gonna get me a dog even after all this? A big one? A couple of dogs? No. You're gonna walk Nalanda, Brutus, and Biggie, and some other dogs from the condominium every afternoon. What? But why? It's a lesson, sweetheart. A way for you to remember that you lied to us both and that you need to take responsibility for that. I already spoke to their owners, okay? Yeah, I have no choice, right? Everything's okay, Clara, but I don't think that this time we're gonna be able to help you. You're gonna have to walk those monsters all alone. Yeah, I know. <sighs> Moment of truth, ladies. Today they'll be posting the results for the people chosen to attend the mathematics camp. Well, I'm sure that you made it in easily, Valen. <gasps> but I didn't. Why not? You did all the best extracurricular activities. But I failed the test. But you never do badly on tests. Well, the truth is that I didn't actually finish the test. I fell asleep. Well, next year you can take it again, right? Maybe next time you should listen to us and take easier activities. I told What's you that? you were overdoing it. Na na ni na no, na na ni I wanna see When I speak my mind, all the things I can be Na na ni na no, na na ni I wanna see When I speak my mind, all the things I can be You told a lie, you just lied And I told you not to lie with your parents Now who knows how things will be I didn't lie, I didn't fib, I just forgot to tell them That my friends helped me out with Robo Doggy, so tell them Na na ni na no, na na ni I wanna see When I speak my mind, all the things I can be Na na ni na no, na na ni I wanna see it's just the same as a lie, like if you purposely said it. Admit the fault is all yours, or you'll just fall where you're headed. Don't even change the subject, that's not even the point. Don't forget you fell asleep and failed your test, that's the point. Na 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 no. Stop it! Ladies, stop it! Stop it right now! You guys don't have to fight about this! Clara was very wrong when she abandoned her responsibility and asked us to take care of it. I guess her parents knew what they were doing when they decided to buy her that robo-dog. It was a test, and she failed it. Clara definitely needs to be more responsible with her things. But on the other hand, Valentina took on way too many responsibilities for a girl her age. All of that just to get into that math camp, even though we all warned her that it was too much. So much that she even passed out during the test. I'm just saying, everyone was wrong here. But you two don't need to fight about it, guys. That friendship you guys share was never on the line at any point in time, was it? You're right. I'm sorry, Clara. I was just mad about the whole camp situation. It's okay. I was also mad about everything that happened in my house. Still friends? Always. Glittery ball! I knew that you'd get this eventually. And it took a long time, but I feel much more That's relaxed. That's great! But you should be even more relaxed after you're done riding. Riding? What do you mean? 
Well, riding the bike, right? You spent all this time putting it together. <laughs> I don't know how to ride a bicycle. Didn't I ever tell you that? No way. I thought bike riding was the hobby you picked out so you could relax a bit. <laughs> no, building a bicycle was the hobby. <laughs> Aha, but we need to do something with it now that we've got it. <sighs> I was thinking, Valen. Why don't you just come with me to my Grandma Alexandra's house for the summer? Yeah? I just need to ask my parents. <laughs> we won't be talking about mathematics or physics at all. Come on. But we do have some great cornbread. Mm, delicious. And we've got homemade hot bread. Mmm, you sound like a salesperson. Is it fine if Clara comes too? <laughs> if she comes back safe and in one piece from walking those giant dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Makeup party.